Hi and welcome. I am joined with Heather, our go-to nutritionist here in Lloyd Minster from Empower You and uh, talking today about holiday eating. Yes. It is that time. So I uh, just wanted to kind of know uh, maybe some tricks from you and some alternatives maybe when you're yeah. cooking those big meals and you got to eat a lot of food yep. that week. So uh, yeah, just yeah. some tips from you on that. So a lot of times we think, oh, we have this big meal coming. So let's have skip or have a really light breakfast. And mm -hmm. that's actually something that we want to avoid. So you do want to have your normal breakfast, focusing on a good source of protein. So for your breakfast, you should be aiming for about 20 to 30 grams of protein, having a good source of fruit with that, a good source of fiber. And then once again, focusing on that hydration. Right. You're wanting to make sure you're having a snack and then once again, focusing on a good source of protein. Yeah. So I brought a couple good sources of awesome. snacks. Awesome, share with us, please. So yes. this is a fun one. This is black beans, something yep. that people don't really think of as a snack or a go-to. Totally. So roasted black beans, great thing. When you're looking at a label, five and 15 are kind of your go-to. Okay. So five, fat and sodium, 15 for fiber. Ah, okay. So that's percent daily value, and that's something really quick not looking at all the other numbers, just five and 15 for percent daily value. Yeah. So these guys have 12 grams of protein per quarter of a cup. Wow. So just a couple tablespoons and you're at that snack or else a bit more than a quarter of a cup and that's a meal for you. Totally. So this is something that you can play with that is really fun, festive. You can make it really pretty with a salad. It's gonna add a bit of crunch. So that's a fun go-to yeah. that no one's gonna really expect. That's gonna add a bit of color too. Yeah, for sure. And people won't even think that it's like a, a healthy little fix because no. it's just like fun and easy to do. Yeah. Um, that's actually very important and a good point that you made about uh, taking the snacks because I find most people will go, oh, I, I have to eat a big dinner tonight. Mm -hmm. I'm just not going to eat during the day because then yeah. I can really get yeah. into it later. But that's almost the opposite, right? Yes. And so with portion sizing, you also kind of showed us some portion yeah. plates if you want to grab that yeah. because I think that's probably a good idea because when you do eat the big holiday meals, it's still probably a pretty good smart idea. to separate. Yeah. So. so the thing with eating at holiday meals is you want to grab a plate and eat off of a plate. Mm -hmm. So take a look at everything that's set up and then make your choices off of a plate. What you still want to try to do is have half a plate of vegetables a quarter of those starchy carbohydrates. So your potato and corn fit on that quarter plate. Totally. They don't fit on those vegetables, which lots of people try to convince <laughs> me that they do. They don't, unfortunately. Yeah. And then a quarter of that plate of protein. So women, we're looking at eight and a half inches for that plate. Mm -hmm. Men, we're looking at 10 and a half inches. Yeah. So this is how big our plate should actually be. Those platters that are now acceptable <laughs> for plates, not quite what we're looking at. Yeah. So we are looking for those smaller plates. And I really suggest picking your plate, going once, looking at everything, and trying to have those foods that are only special at Christmas time. Mm. So we know what mashed potatoes taste like. Yeah. You know, try to have those casseroles that are only come out at Christmas time that you're really gonna enjoy. Yeah. And try to focus on those. Another thing with holiday eating, and lots of times we do this, and I'm guilty of it as well. Try not to eat and stand around the kitchen table mm. or else the island where the food is. Yes. If you're going to, once again, grab a plate, take what and you take want, put on the plate so you can see it. Because if you're just grabbing, chatting, we have no idea with what we're consuming. And it's so easy to overeat at that. And then once you kind of leave that station, you're like, oh my goodness, like, I don't feel good, totally. I'm tired. Was that worth it? So yeah. by looking, putting on the plate, kind of getting an idea, you're gonna feel so much better. Yeah. And once again, just making sure you're having that water with you and then those beverages, especially when those alcoholic beverages come in, yeah. that can play a, a bit into it as well. So making totally. sure you're drinking a water with it. Yeah will help. Yeah, totally. Well, thank you so much. We are at time for this, but uh, thank you so much for the holiday tips. Yeah. They are definitely helpful and needed. So make sure, I think what we can take away from this is make sure that you just kind of look at things yes, over definitely. and then kind of take it from your plate so you're not just continually. Thank you so much for coming in yeah, and no sharing problem. your holiday tips with us. We appreciate yeah. it. Have a great holiday.